Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day so far. So excuse my bare, naked, weird looking face because I've got like very big lashes and then not a single spit of makeup anywhere else. <laughs> Pardon that. But there's good reason because I was just going about my business minding my own business not expecting to film today and then my order arrived of the new Laura Mercier caviar volume mascara um, I ordered this after seeing my friend Mel loving it and Mel and I have very similar tastes and preference when it comes to mascaras we love huge big fake looking lashes dramatic lashes um, and we both have great lashes so as soon as I saw her loving it I was like I need it I need to try it is it gonna beat my holy grail my Lancome Monsieur Big is it gonna be better than that is it gonna be bigger is it gonna be more dramatic could it even possibly be more dramatic than the Monsieur Big I just don't know if it's possible to be honest so as soon as it came through my door I was like forget it forget that I've got my makeup on forget that I've got a headache forget that it's raining outside we are getting this mascara on our lashes we're gonna try it out so Let's get started. Okay, so we are zoomed in nice and close so you can get a good look of me applying this mascara. It's very long. Yeah, definitely the like, the wand seems quite long. It has that typical mascara smell. The brush looks right up my street, really bristly. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's got a kind of twisted pattern to the bristles are kind of like twisted around which is pretty cool so i'm gonna start applying this as always please excuse the mess i'm sure to get onto my lid it's very hard to apply mascara without like looking really down in which case you won't be able to see me and you won't be able to see the mascara so i've kind of got to look fairly straightforward which just means that you get transferred onto the lids but i'm gonna try my best so I'm just going to start applying this as I always would with sort of wiggly motions at the base and a bit of blinking onto the brush. This is the technique I always use when doing my mascara. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not really... Okay. I'm not getting a huge amount of volume. I'm also going to go from the top down rolling the brush, which is how I get... Oh, which is how I get a nice coat on both sides of the lash and gets that extra volume. Hmm. Okay. So for a first coat, that's pretty underwhelming to be honest. I feel like I haven't got a huge amount of length or a huge amount of volume. It's definitely not a super wet formula. I don't feel like my lashes are really wet like with the Monsieur Big. And I'm not feeling like the brush is putting a load of product on either. Um, so it may just be one that for me to get as you know dramatic a lash as I like, I might need to do a few coats. But it's not clumping at all. It's definitely leaving me lots of lashes. And it is lifting the lash nicely, curling the lash nicely. It's really just not giving me like the drama. That I like you know so I will say it's, it's actually it's a decent first coat to be fair like I think I'm just a bit like missing some drama but obviously in two or three coats we'll hopefully get a bit more of that but it's kept everything nice and separated it's given me some nice lift to my lashes there's not like a ginormous difference between like my naked lashes over here and this first coat it's just kind of given me some color some definition but not like really much length or volume on that first coat so I'm kind of disappointed so far but I'm hoping it's gonna build up I will say it's not messy even though I'm applying on camera so I'm not kind of applying looking down as much into my mirror as I would normally there's literally no transfer yet on my eyelid so that is a good sign as far as the formula it's not super wet or messy so let's try this second coat see if i can get them a bit more how i like them finding it easy as well to use from the top down without getting on my lash i feel like that twisted shape of the brush is really helping keep the wand away from my skin it's really not doing much at all i can't understand what i'm doing wrong because i've seen people loving this mascara 
but I'm just really not getting much from it. Like this is the most disappointed I remember being with the mascara. Oh, it was so expensive. So disappointing. Okay, so here's where we're at after two like really solid coats, like a solid coat, like this is a decent application. Like I was trying to, just really trying to build and build and build and see if I could get it to do really anything. Um, but honestly, I just feel like, I, it, it's just, I'm just not getting anywhere. <laughs> I honestly can barely see a difference between the lashes with mascara on and these naked lashes over here. Like these, I mean, they're a bit darker. And obviously it's harder for you guys to see my natural lashes because they're not as dark. So, so on camera, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see they're gonna show up as well, but it, there is almost no difference between my mascara lashes and my naked lashes, other than like the these ones are blacker, like the color. It literally just looks like I've had a lash tint, honestly. I know probably some of you watching are gonna love this and this is gonna be like your dream mascara because it's really natural, it's very fluffy, um, it's really not clumpy at all, it's easy to apply. So it does have some pros, but for me, when I love like fake, huge, fat, volumized, lengthened lashes, this is really doing like next to nothing for me and I'm really disappointed. I didn't even know whether to bother with a third coat because I feel like nothing happened with the first two. I mean we might as well I guess while we're here you know. Let's just see I mean this is insane to me that like three coats of mascara is this sort of lack of results really. You'd expect a lot more than this after three coats, or I would anyway. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't even know if there's much of a difference, honestly, between the third, first and second coats. I don't feel like it's really building much at all. I'm gonna go in on my lower lashes because I do think this is a really nice lower lash mascara. Um, and this is potentially the only way I'm gonna be able to use this ever again. <laughs> it's on my lower lashes. So yeah, it's a nice lower lash mascara because for me, my lower lashes are like a lot, like they're really long. I have a lot of them. Um, and so if I put mascara on them, it can get a bit crazy. So this is just perfect for my lower lashes because it's just given them a bit of a, like a tint. It hasn't really lengthened them much at all. It's just kind of given them some definition and some color. But honestly, the difference between mascara and no mascara with three coats on these top lashes, I am like really exceedingly, I mean, underwhelmed is not even the word. Like it's disappointed. I'm disappointed. I can't believe it. I thought it was gonna be potentially my new holy grail, but it is not, that is for sure. I'm so sad right now. I know some of you might be new here and you might think I've gone mad because you might be thinking this looks lovely, it's a really nice mascara. So I just wanna show you using my Monsieur Big, which is my holy grail mascara, what to me a mascara should do with one coat. Right, <laughs> I mean, did you see that was one, I mean, not even a coat, it was literally like three strokes and we're already better on, I would say, to me, for what I look for on the Monsieur Big than on the Laura Mercier side. That was literally three strokes of my wand. Didn't even go in from the top, which I will do now, just to show you one proper coat of this mascara. So you can see much more volume on this side. It's darker, um, there's more length, and this is one coat versus three over here. If I was to do three, I don't even ever do three coats of Monsieur Big, I do two. Um, if I'm on like a really big night out and I've done a very dramatic eye look, so I need my lashes to like counter that, I might do three, but I rarely feel like I need to. Um, Monsieur Big is much wetter of a formula, so it is messier to work with, like you can already see I've got some like excess on my lid there, but I quite happily just deal with that with a cotton bud once it's dried, as opposed to having 
this situation. So on my lower lashes I don't really use Monsieur Big very often but when I do I have to wipe all the mascara off and use the tiniest amount and even then it's a little too much for my lower lashes. Um, I prefer to use my roller lash for my bottom lashes but even so again it just shows you the difference. Like I feel like the this eye looks twice the size of this eye. I feel like the Monsieur Big is doing like twice as much as the Laura Mercier with a third of the product and a third of the coat and the time. They both have lift. These lashes, don't get me wrong, if this was coat one and we could build on this, it's a nice fluffy separated unclumpy natural looking lash but I look for dramatic volume length fake looking and you just cannot achieve that or I cannot achieve that with the Laura Mercier it's just not giving me enough it's not giving enough to me not the Monsieur Big it's just it's just not on the same planet so there you go it just goes to show don't judge a book by its cover. Not everything works the same for everybody. I've seen my friend Mel loves this one and gets a really lovely dramatic effect with it. I did hear Mel say in one of her recent videos that this one like got better as it aged. So I'm gonna definitely keep trying it, giving it a couple more goes over the next few weeks as it gets a bit older. But that is one of the things that I love about the Monsieur Big is that from the first use to the last use when it goes in the bin because it is empty it is amazing every use whereas I do have a lot of other mascaras where they are like just you know they have a sweet spot they're not great at the beginning or they dry out really really fast one way or the other there's like a period of time where they're really good whereas Monsieur Big is like it's always amazing um yeah I just I'm so confused right now because I really thought this was going to be like my new holy grail and it was a holy fail for me and I'm I'm sad about that I'm sad I'd love to know if you guys have tried this new mascara if you had a much better experience than me have I got a dud I don't know I don't know or what is going on I hope you found this review and comparison video helpful I would love to see you in my next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.